Hey parents, Pastor Brent here. Hey, no fancy video, just me and my iPhone. But if you're like me, sometimes it's easier to watch a quick two minute video instead of reading. But for all you readers of emails, we did both. All right, by the way, happy after hump day day, after hump day day. Your kids are almost done with the week and I hope they're ready for a long weekend, all right? I wanted to pass along a juicy piece of information. So four weeks ago, we started a series in KidQuest walking through the Old Testament. We did God to Adam, Adam to Noah, Noah to Abraham, Abraham to Isaac, well, so on and so forth. This week, we're starting a new series called The Life of Joseph, and we'll be talking about trusting in God no matter what. All right? The cool thing is that we're going to be doing it in such a way to continue our walk through the Old Testament. We'll continue with Jacob to Judah and Joseph, which are his, some of his sons, etc. And then continuing on through the lineage all the way to Jesus. Listen, I wish someone would have taught me the biblical time, timeline when I was young. I just assumed Abraham was friends with David and, and Jacob knew the Apostle Paul. Well, nope. <laughs> For your information, Sunday does matter. Try not to let your kids miss any of the next few weeks and months. All right, we're gonna be continuing our walk through the Old Testament all the way through November. All right, we're making it a big deal that you can see God's plan from Adam, Noah, Abraham, David, all the way to Jesus. All right, it's pretty eye-opening. Every Old Testament story points back to Jesus being the savior of the world. Listen, my favorite quote from last week comes from a fourth grade girl at the 9 a.m. service. When I talked about Abraham's family being a blessing to the world, and that was fulfilled through his family line with Jesus, she said, wow, I, I never knew that. That's awesome. Man, I totally got chills. I love seeing and hearing that kids' eyes are open to God's word and they're understanding it. It gets me so excited to see our kids becoming fully devoted followers of Jesus. Well, I gotta go, all right? Sunday's coming. Uh, remember, uh, make it a priority to have your kids at church uh, the next many Sundays because Sunday really does matter. All right, we'll see you in a few days. Happy long weekend. Uh, peace out. Goodbye. Shalom. Toots. <laughs>